Hey everybody, Eddie Sand here, your optimistic marketer. Happy Monday. And today I'm going to go over the digital marketing path that your business needs to take to sell your offers and a little bit about the platforms that you need to use. That's coming up next. All right, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode. And I am really excited this morning. What I'm going to show you is what you you and your business need to understand this. Your business needs to be, um, how can I say, rebranded. Rebranded and move into the virtual movement that we've got going on. There is a, there's a marketing shift happening right now. If you did not realize that yet, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm here to tell you, you need to jump into this opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. It's a wave of a virtual marketing wave of opportunity because of all the situation that's happening in the world and obviously here in our country as well, right? So we need to use this time to prepare and you need to start thinking about how to expand your business into the virtual world, into the digital world. Now, social media is the place to be. There is a marketing shift happening right now that can position you to be the go-to person and the go-to business in your industry if you take advantage of it. And you know what's happening, really, the problem is that most businesses, they lack the time and the expertise to create a social media strategy that actually gets results. That's actually when I get the call because that's exactly what I do. I've been helping clients right now to do exactly just that, to create this strategy and dive into this opportunity. So this is actually part of what I do. And you know what? Use it. Let me show you right now. But actually, before I do that, before I get too excited and forget to drink my coffee, let me sip my coffee. Mm. Because this is good things. So happy, happy Monday, happy Friday. What the heck? Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend and a restful weekend. Really excited that you're here. By the way, thank you so much for those of you here who are live. Thank you for those of you who are watching the recording. Um, if you don't know this yet, I've decided to go live every single week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific, to help you move into this new virtual era, basically, and get more eyes on your business using the right techniques and tools. And that's what I've been showing you for the past now three months, for three months, for the past three months, I've been doing this consistently. So until further notice, I will continue to do this and to help you get on board on this amazing wave of opportunity. Don't miss out on it. All right, so let's get, let's get started. And basically, this is the path you need to understand that marketing online it's different than marketing out there yeah your physical especially if you have a physical local business it is different the principles of marketing are still there whether you do it offline or online okay but you need to have a lot of creativity when you go online as a matter of fact I always recommend you take a look at your brand and start rebranding your business, you know, because it's going to take that much to get and attract the right people and to re-engage with your customers as well. So when you think about that, the number one rule that I have is that you need to actually go through this path. Okay, this path will help you understand what you need to do and why you need to do it. So basically, it's really simple. You basically take, this is supposed to be your customers or your or the people who you're looking for. And they need to know you first, okay? They need to know you. That's why you want to go live, do live videos. Did you know that since January, there's a stat I, I read a couple of weeks ago now, that since January over... Uh, up to uh, June, right? So since January to June, over 50% of increase um, has gone into the live video streaming. So more people are watching it. More people are, are engaging with live streaming, live videos. Okay, you've got to go into it. Uh, you can see what Facebook has been doing, improving their platform to do what? 
to engage live, right? The, the, the chat rooms they've actually done now with Instagram, right? You can do that stuff live. I, I, you need to pay attention to what's really happening. Zoom, can you imagine Zoom has, I think it was, let me see, it was, they had about 10 million um, users per per month, I believe it was that, that I read. And, that, and they went up to about 300 million. Push. Opportunity. You can take advantage of this opportunity. But the path is this. They need to know you. You do that live through live uh, streaming. Because the more, by the way, go often. Go live often. By the way, the more they see you, then they're going to get to like you. They, you're, you're in your marketplace, they get to like you. Obviously, once they like you, they start to learn more about you and they get to trust you. And only then, only when you get to this point of trust, that's when you have an open door, a welcome door to offer what you sell. And there's a, and there's a process to do that too, but I'm going to leave it out there. That's the simple way to see it. So don't make the mistake to go, if you've never done digital marketing before using social media platforms, don't make the mistake to just go put something up, create an ad, pay for it, and have not done this. You're going to jump from where you are to here. It's going to fail. You're going to waste a lot of time. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to lose a lot of money. So this is the way to do it. Now, what platforms to use? Okay. Really simple. There's a lot of platforms you can use, and I'm going to actually share with you the ones that you can go live. However, with the exception, you see here, there's LinkedIn. Okay. In LinkedIn, it's a little tricky, but here's the reason why I have it. I have it in this list. So think about it this way, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This is practically where consumers are consumers, consumers. You don't have to know how to, how to spell. <laughs> okay. But this is where basically consumers go to watch and engage and look for things that they want to find. That's where they go. LinkedIn, otherwise, LinkedIn is a little bit different. LinkedIn, what happens is that this is more a business to business platform. Okay. There's a lot of career minded people. There's a lot of businesses. So this answers the question. If you have a business that you're looking for consumers, for clients, for customers, then this, you should focus on these platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you have a business that is a business to business sales or services, then you go to LinkedIn. You can use them all, but that's how you want to distinguish where to go first. But here is the catch. Don't do all of them at one time. If you're not ready to, you see another mistake that I see is that they, the, the, the business owner or the business and the staff, they want to jump in and do it all, which is in a way, yes, that's, that's, that's the old marketing style, right? You go and test everything and see what sticks. Take it easy. Take it easy. You need to focus on content. That's what you need to do. And you need to focus on one platform at a time. An example, we have out there, there is a, a software that you can restream to multiple channels. All right. So would you go in and get that? You know what? If you have the content, if you know you're going to help your marketplace with what you're offering, and it's content based. Okay. It's not selling base. It's content. Then go ahead and do it, but you'll still find yourself doing one thing is you're going to have to go back and see what's working. A lot of times people will know that it's, it's, it, you know, you're doing it on one platform and it looks different on Instagram. For example, on Facebook, um, having a horizontal video is the best way to do it. But for Instagram, it's vertical, right? Vertical. So you see what I'm saying? Now you have to go back and edit the way the video looks to make it fit into each one. Again, that's why I'm telling you, focus on one platform. So the question I get is, which platform do I go and start doing? Simple. 
Here, two, two answers. If you don't know your market, like if you are practically starting out into this virtual world, into this digital world, and you have no idea where they're at online, go to Facebook. Just go start there. Facebook has so much data that I'll actually talk about this here this week uh, in another episode because they have so much data. They have demographics, infographics, psychographics. They're, they're, they've got it all. So guess what? You'll find people there quicker than if you go to any other platform because all you got to do is ask Facebook through their advertising platform and say, listen, I want this type of audience or this type of viewers to watch my videos who have done, you know, ABC in their, uh, in their, in their social media, um, uh, surfing. And I want people who are married, who making this money, who have kids, who don't have kids, who do this, that. they have it all. All right. So you're going to start learning and getting a lot of data from that. Now, if you know where your market is, if you know where your market is hanging out, then you go to the platform where they're at. I mean, for instance, Instagram, let's say you're a, a, a photographer. Okay. You've got a photography uh, business, or maybe you have a printing business. Well, guess what? That will be the place to go because that's where create creators are at. You need to showcase your business there with some awesome images or some cool little three second videos, uh, or 30 second videos, not three seconds. You see, you, you need to do all that and you need to be very creative. And that's where you, if you know your customers, if you know your market, what they want, then go for it. How about YouTube? YouTube is where you need some extra work. Okay. Let me tell you this with YouTube, you can go live. You can do that by using a third party software. However, with YouTube, you need to be very creative and you need to approach it as video editing. So you need to have a B-roll, uh, an ending and, and, you know, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, third something I can't remember right now, but basically you need to have the titles at the bottom. You, you need to actually even be very creative and cutting and editing, making sure that things make sense for the viewer to see. You don't have an option to just be live like I do. And as a matter of fact, you'll, if you go to my YouTube, there's barely any views because I just upload my videos there. I, I'm not, I don't have time for that. Okay. If you have a staff to edit, make them nice and all this good stuff, then go for it. But again, you have to understand YouTube has to a lot of work. There's a lot of work to it. Now here is LinkedIn. LinkedIn, what you want to do is first, if you have access already to go live, which you have to go through a process and apply uh, to get to get into it. It's like it's a beta test, beta test. So they don't have it. Not everybody has access to going live on LinkedIn. But if you do have access to that, then you know what? Go for it. You can use a third party app and go and, and, and stream multiple channels, Facebook and LinkedIn, for example, simultaneously because they fit just right. The video uh, uh, horizontal way, it fits just right. However, if you don't have to LinkedIn live, then what you want to do is go Facebook live, upload the Facebook live to YouTube, and then take the YouTube link and put it in LinkedIn. You see? So this is the reason why I'm giving you this. I need you to understand, focus on one platform, get as much as possible. And I'm telling you just to be safe, really. Again, if you are doing this for your own business, if you have a staff of people doing it, helping you out, go Facebook. Really, you're going to just, there, there is no way you're going to lose any extra time at all. And you're going to get a bunch of data from that. You should do it. And then once you do that, master that, then you can continue moving on to other places. But again, this should give you an idea where you can get started. And hopefully, you know, your market. As a matter of fact, this week, I'm actually also going to cover how to get clear about your market, like at least how to find them, how to find and re-engage with the customers that are not coming to your facility anymore or your place of business, or, you know, you just can't seem to find them. I'll show you that this week too. Cool. All right. Well, that's, that's what I have for you. And listen, all this information is really a little piece of the 
blueprint that I have. I was going to say the puzzle, but of the blueprint that I actually have, what I've created is, is a virtual marketing blueprint that guides you through the process to make sure that you have everything in place. Um, I have it. I printed it out here so I can show you so you guys can see. I'm old school. <laughs> okay. But um, it's it's right there. And anyway, all of it is there. If you want access to it, absolutely. You can go ahead. There's no cost to it. I, I, I'm doing this because I need you guys to prepare and, and start expanding your business online. Get Get in this wave of opportunity. Get in. Dive in. Do it. You don't want to miss out because at the end, again, you'll become the go-to person, the go-to business in your industry. This is the time to do it. Get started now. And it all starts with going live and going through this path. So you can download again, my virtual marketing process practically uh, at no cost to you. Just go to eddysand.com. You'll find it there. But um, cool. All right. Listen, that's what I have for you today. And let me ask you this. If you have more questions about this, my recommendation to you is just come back here live. Even if it's not on the topic that I'm talking about and you have a question, I'll be able to see your comments here and I'll be able to respond a little bit quicker more than if I tell you that I'm going to go and check out the comments. I mean, I barely go and do that. Okay. I got many other things that I do besides just going here live. So take advantage, come back live Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific. You'll be back here with this virtual marketing Facebook Live episode. If you are somewhere else in another channel, by the way, go find me on facebook.com forward slash optimistic marketer. Optimistic marketer. That's how you'll find me there. And you can join us live again, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific, Monday through Friday. Cool? All right, guys. Well, listen, I'll let you go. Thank you so much again for taking the time to watch this, to learn this, put it into action. As many of you have been doing, I'm very, very excited that I get to see those messages come in. And every one of you has that extra question, right? What's this? What's next? So I'm hoping that I get all those answers uh, and, and see the results. I'm already seeing your results. So it's really exciting to hear back from you. So let me know what you're up to, what you're doing. And let's move on. Let's do this together. So stay cool, stay calm, and keep a sound mind. Peace.